I wake up every morning about half past five and I don't get back to my hotel room until um, after about half past six. So it's a 13 hour day for me from start until finish. And then I need to make sure I recover right in between all that. So we have practice, meetings, uh, lifting, and all that. And then I do my own recovery. I do my own extra position work. And then we also had our own rookie development film meetings because we needed more time to understand the plays. And I'm very grateful for that because it gives you an opportunity to succeed better. And it puts everybody on a level playing field. So I started out very young playing all the sports that I possibly could, starting with um, cricket, rugby, um, athletics, swimming, tennis, kickboxing, gymnastics. I, I did it all, you know, and um, as I got older and started developing better into sports, I started uh, scaling down when I got to high school to just cricket and, and rugby and athletics, and eventually it just turned out to be rugby and athletics, and when I got to uh, grade 11 in office, I got chosen for uh, the world youth team to go represent South Africa in Lille, France. And I got a bronze medal then, so I started focusing more on athletics. And that's when um, the American coaches started showing interest in me. Later that year, I went on to set a national record um, in I Love Man in Douglas. And then the next year, I went to World uh, Juniors in Barcelona, Spain, and I got a bronze medal there as well. And that's when the coaches really started contacting me and they could, because they started seeing some consistency. And they said, okay, well, we want to recruit you. And initially I said, no, I don't want to go um, because I wanted to try the South African system first. And I was a little disappointed, but I decided to go to America and take this opportunity that I have. And that's how I ended up in America. But when I got recruited there, I spoke to one of the coaches and said, okay, well, I want to um, see what your campus is like. She showed me a bird's eye view of the campus and I said, wow, this is pretty awesome. I saw the big stadium. I said, man, do we compete in that? She said, no, that's only for football. I said, oh, that's awesome. Can I play? And that's how, how it came about. The, the interest in football sparked and I had a distant cousin, Simone de Toy, who went there as well. Uh, also really good at discus. And uh, she, um, she was actually my connection to SMU and that's how it sparked more and more that I wanted to try out and play football. So SMU wanted to recruit me solely for football, but they had no, no uh, what they call track and field, what we call athletics. They had no uh, athletics program. So uh, Arizona in that sense chose me where they wanted to give me an athletic scholarship and allow me to play football. I would say sometimes people think that I don't know certain things uh, just because I haven't been around that long. But um, I'm treated no different when it comes to expectations. I'm treated no different when it comes to um, learning and showing progress, you know. And for me, that's one of the most important things that I said for myself was I'm going to be there. I'm going to be one of the fittest people. I'm going to be one of the strongest people. And I'm going to be the guy who's ready to learn the most and show the most progress. And as long as I show progress every day, I think I'll, have, uh, I'll be all right. So I never played at the top level of rugby, so it's also hard to compare, compare the speed of the game. But I will say NFL is if you compare football and rugby in general. Football is much harder for me physically uh, than rugby ever was for one simple reason. Your pads aren't for protection, your pads are your weapons. Your helmet is a weapon, your shoulder pads is a weapon. Everything you wear is a weapon, so, and, it, and it protects you, but more importantly, it inflicts physical pain on the person next to you. And I actually enjoy that part of the game, you know, about hitting somebody really hard, and I really like doing that, and that's what really stuck to me about the game. And so I think rugby, you have to be a lot more distance fit. Football, you have to be a lot more explosive and quick in terms of foot speed. Um, for example, then you have to be in rugby. Rugby, you run longer uh, in durations, you know, from break point to break point, and then, you know, you might rest for a little bit when a scrum or line out comes along, but that's about it. Versus football, every play is stop and go. So running far distance for me is not easy, but I can run sprints forever.
It's, it's one of the most stressful things I've encountered in my life because there's 90, 90 people on the roster right now and it's going to be cut down to 53 on the active roster, 10 on the practice squad and maybe a few on IR, which is injury reserve or the reserve list. So and eventually you're looking at about 65 kids on the team and I mean it scales down to who's better at the job and who's more consistent at it. You can flash some good things but if you don't do it consistently you're not going to get chosen. The biggest thing is, over the last five years, I've spent more time on football than I think any other, anybody else did of the players in that program where I was at. I did more than the guy next to me, I did more than the guy in front of me, and more than the guy behind me. And to me, that was one of the most important things to do. Um, Dwayne Johnson, the Rocky, he has a beautiful quote. He says, be the hardest worker in the room. And that's how he describes his success, is he was just the hardest worker in the room. And Victor Matfield also told me the other day when I saw him, he said, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So everybody in the NFL is fast, everybody in the NFL is strong, explosive, athletic. But what are you going to do more than the person next to you to make sure that you succeed? And that's my mentality that I approach it with. I'm a small goal kind of person. I'm not, I set big goals. My big goal, have a long NFL career, all right? What's my next step? What am I gonna do to make sure that I make this team, okay? That's the next goal. What am I gonna make, what am I gonna do to make sure that I fix my technique work? Rip it over and over and over. I also saw a really uh, nice quote that says, success is not a single act. Success is a habit. It's something that you do repeatedly. And so, and that's, that's the code of an offensive lineman. We are technical people. Everything you do, it, it, to the average person, it would look very, very boring. But to me, it's, it's about mastering my craft. And anybody that's really good at what they do will understand that.